Wanted to do a quick video here to catch something I missed in the last video about pound defines and the parentheses. A couple, couple things are interesting in this particular example. If you look at these pound define, what the preprocessors are going to do is anywhere in your code where you might have um, a function call with or any kind of thing with the word LED black in it, if you said A is equal to LED under black, then the preprocessors are going to replace LED black with whatever's there. In this case, 0x00 zero, zero, zero in parentheses. And that's the pound define does. It's just a global search and replace of that string. Uh, so the question is, what are the parentheses for? Couldn't I have just said, you know, pound define LED underscore black? Apparently not. I can't, can't even type it. But if I could do that and just said this, would that still work? And certainly that would work. That would come down here and you'd have, instead of this parentheses, you'd have A is equal to 0x00. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, you would replace LED black with whatever you had there. And you'll see that frequently in, in, in people's code, but it's bad form. And the reason it's bad form is as you get uh, defines made up of other defines, for instance, I might have something like pound define, I don't know what that was, I might have something like pound define uh, row, pixels per row, 400, pound define, pixels per call, say 200. Then I might define something like pound define uh, total pixels as pixels per row times pixels per call. And somewhere down here I might say A is equal to pixels, um, or total pixels. You can see how these things kind of build and stack in each other. You know? And that will actually replace total pixels with pixels per call times pixels per row, which will replace those with 400 times 200. And they'll give you 8 with a bunch of zeros after. What is that, 80,000? All right. But let's say, for example, I had a plus here for some reason. It wouldn't be a total pixels anymore, but it was some other equation. And I had total pixels times total something else. Well, what would the... The preprocessor do in this case, well, it would take A and set it equal to total pixels per row plus pixels per call. Well, total pixels is, that's what, 400 plus 200 times total something else. And you can see here now this will give me the wrong answer, right? Instead of getting this 600 times this, I'll wind up with 200 times this plus that. If I came in here and protected this with parentheses, and it's just a matter of form and everything I did, and again, in that case, it really doesn't matter, but here it becomes critical. If I did that, then I would wind up with this equation here. Yeah, and this whole thing. There we go. And that would be correct. Okay, so putting the parentheses around the uh, the pound define definition is is a style guide element. We've said we're always going to use it to protect ourselves from doing things that are wrong. One other tiny little detail. Notice the hex values in C zero x zero zero. And oftentimes you might see me do something where I'll do zero x. If I've got a 0x A, B, C, D and a 0x 0, 0, I might go ahead and just pad that out to 0x 0, 0, 0, 0 to make them all the same length. And you'd be tempted to do that sometimes in decimal, like you'll have a number, a case, 0, case 1, dot, 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 you know, case 9, case 10. You're like, you know, I don't like the way that looks. You should just space it. See, I like that better. That colons are lined up. But you might be tempted to put a leading zero on here. Like you could with hex. 
You can't do this in C because the leading zero is actually the, the indicator that it's an octal number. So 0, 1, 4 is actually 8 plus 4, the same thing as 12, okay. which is the same thing as 0xc. So something to bear in mind when you're seeing uh, uh, C numbers, don't, don't fall in the trap of putting a leading zero on a number because that, that signifies the number as octal. It's unfortunate, but it's been around for a long time and uh, something you have to watch out for. So there's a quick wrap up of a couple little details I wanted to make sure you understood.